there's actually many different ways to bring footage into your timeline and to do some editing. And we're gonna talk about what those three different ways are. The first way is called three-point editing. Three-point editing is when you edit from your bins using the clips in your bins. It's best if you prefer to make selections one at a time in the source monitor. And it's also good if you prefer to edit with insert and overwrite. It's an easy way to push things down the timeline or cut things into the timeline on complex projects. Let me show you kind of what I mean by that. So let me put all these clips back together and let's talk about how three point editing would work. So we have our clips down here in the bins. And what I can do is I can double click on one of these clips. Let's just say this one, for example. And I've got this shot of the computer screen. And what I would do is I would find a point where I want to begin the shot. Let's come forward here. And I think right here before the camera starts moving, so like right around this point, I'm gonna push I to make an in point or this little icon here, mark in. Then I'm gonna play forward. And at the end of that camera move, I'm gonna mark an out point, O on your keyboard or this icon right here. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it into my timeline from the source. And I can hold command to push things forward. That'll do an insert and push things forward. Or if I undo that and I put the playhead, let's just put the playhead right here. And I drag this and drop it in. I can overwrite what's there as well. Now Premiere is really great about this because not only can you just drag it directly from here and into your timeline, you can also drag it from here into this program monitor where you have all these different options insert, overlay, overwrite, insert after, insert before. So these are really fun to play with if you're trying to do some complex editing. This is known as three point editing. The next type of editing is called timeline editing. Timeline editing is best if you like to keep everything in one convenient place. You'll have less timelines open and there are less chances of getting lost in the project. It's also easy to understand, copying and pasting from one point to another, just like text in a Word document. So let me show you what timeline editing looks like. In fact, that's pretty much what we've been doing this entire time. So timeline editing looks a lot like this. I'm gonna grab just a handful of clips. I'm gonna move them to the back of my timeline here. I'm gonna work from the back and put things in the front. So let's just say this is the beginning of our timeline where we've started to edit together our movie. And we have a shot of me looking at the computer here. Then I'm looking at the screen. Then we have a shot of the keyboard. Then I'm working in another room. A little bit of a close up there. Now I wanna go back to that main space. So I'm gonna find a shot right here. And I'm gonna say, let's just make an edit. I can either use the razor tool or my shortcut key, add edit. Go forward, I like this part right here, add edit. And then I can just cut or copy, move, my timeline over and paste. This is typically a very easy thing to understand because all you're essentially doing is going to the back, finding what you want, cutting it, copying it, and moving back to your spot where you just left off and pasting it in place. The third type of editing is called pancake editing and it's really, really cool and it's actually unique to Premiere. It's best used for keeping things really organized and really separated. It's great for making things like documentaries where you might have a lot of timelines set up to organize your different thoughts or types of footage. It's also easy to create string outs or selects timelines and pull things out of them into your main timeline. And it works with simple drag and drop. So no crazy shortcut keys needed. It's very simple to understand and it's visually very easy to see what you're doing. So let me show you what pancake editing looks like and how to set it up. So first, we're gonna need two timelines. Now we have our FEP promo timeline. I'm gonna go ahead and just clear everything out of this for a second. I'm gonna make a brand new timeline. So I'm gonna take a piece of footage here and just drag it over my timeline icon here. It'll make a new timeline and we'll just label this timeline pancake timeline. And I'm gonna move this pancake timeline down to my sequences bin. And just to make it really clear what we're gonna work on, let me grab some more graphics to demonstrate. I'm gonna to go to my media browser, window, media browser. I'm gonna to navigate to my folder. I'm gonna bring in some pancakes. I'm gonna get rid of this footage here. I'll just take some of these pancakes and toss them into my timeline. 
Get a bunch of great images of pancakes for us to work with. These guys look good. These look pretty good. Those look pretty good. Okay, great. So we got a lot of really good stuff. Here is how pancake editing works. You have two timelines. We have our pancake timeline and we have our blank promo timeline. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna take this blank promo timeline, I'm gonna pull it off of this panel and I'm gonna dock it below the pancake timeline. Now I have two timelines stacked on top of each other. And all I have to do is come back into my pancake timeline here. I like this shot. This is in fact my favorite pancakes and just drag it down to my other timeline. You can see that it's dragged a copy of it. I can zoom in a little bit and I can come over back over here. Let's see what else we have. Those look really good. Let's bring those in. Let's come back to this one here. Let's see what we have back here. Yep, those look awesome. Definitely want some of those pancakes. Let's try these pancakes here. Okay, definitely some of those pancakes. So now we have a timeline that we've built from our pancake editing by simply dragging and dropping from one place to another. Now you're probably wondering which one of these methods should I actually be using? There's a lot of information here and you're probably thinking to yourself, well, which one should I use? Well, you should use the one that suits you the best. They all basically do the exact same thing, but in very different ways. So you should use the one that makes the most sense to you. Now, personally, I like to timeline edit, but that's not the wrong or the right way to do it. That's just the way that I prefer. I find it to be the easiest and fastest method with the shortcut keys that I've built. And I find pancake editing to be a little bit cluttered on my screen. And so I prefer to work in timeline editing with one timeline open. But again, pancake editing is a very fast and efficient way to work. And so is three point editing. So play around and figure out which one works the best for you. Hey there, for tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.